everybody. Hi, Twin Flames, Soul Connections, Soul Mates, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you are here. Um, this is meant for you. If you are seeing this message, please take what resonates. Leave out all of the rest. This is your tea and tarot. Um, if you're not familiar with my channel, my name is Stephanie. I am DG Tarot. And like, share, and subscribe if you are new and you resonate fully with this message. Um, and um, you can see the perks below in the description. Uh, for free readings to win free merchandise or decks from me, the decks that you see here, here, and a couple of others that I have. So I'm excited to be here today, guys. I feel like this is a like a huge karmic week. I feel like um, the energies coming in are very powerful and intense, and it is very tense moments between the masculine and feminine right now, and between the masculine and a karmic partner. So if you're in that situation, this reading is for you, and even if you're not, there are certain things that may resonate for you in this reading. So um, this is a karmic separation reading. It's important to do these kind of readings, not just to tell you, hey, they're leaving their partner or this is what's happening to the karmic and your masculine. This is going to help guide you as well. It's going to help to serve as a message of healing, love, um, positivity. There may be some triggers and karmic energies that come from this reading. So please, please make sure you're meditating, make sure you are saging, make sure you're doing every, all of those things to help you connect to your higher self and your twin and to positive love and light. Because I do know when I do karmic readings, I get a lot of karmic feedback. So if that's you, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. And I hope that that gets cleared up for you and healed. So the energy this week I'm feeling with um, the karmics and separation and the divine feminine masculine is very heavy karmic energy, like I said. Um, lots of confusion and indecisiveness, okay? Um, your masculine is feeling a lot of just jumbled confusion, uncertain of the decisions that they want to take or the steps that they want to make or the action to take currently is what I am feeling for that energy. And I almost forgot, um, usually uh, I do drink tea as well, but it's been a while since I've really been needing my coffee. And my favorite place to go is Mr. D's. It's amazing and it tastes great. Um, more milk than anything, but uh, the milk and coffee is a really good um, mixture. So this is what I'm drinking today. You could tell me in the comments below, whatever your beverage may be, it doesn't have to be tea. But I liked, I call it that because tea is, very um, connected to tarot. So some announcements for you guys really quickly. Stay with me. Um, Etsy shop decks. You see them here. The separation fortunes. Um, I still have these um, currently out for you guys. This deck and this deck here are the same size. This is jumbo size. Um, so you could tell obviously it is bigger <laughs> Then the tarot size, that's just in comparison there, but still very lovely, lovely masculine desire messages. Um, personal readings, private readings are open. I will have you scheduled next week, um, or sorry, by, by Friday or, or by next week. Um, and for anybody who kind of needs that extra message for you personally. Um, I have some new upcoming reading options, so make sure you are liking my shop. Um, go to my Etsy shop, hit that love or like button, and you'll receive notifications when those new items are live. So make sure you're doing that. I'm going to have some karmic soul connection readings. How does the third party feel about you? Do they know about you? How they feel about your twin DM or DF, etc. And what do these, um, what do they want with them still? Um, and more than that. And that is coming soon to my Etsy shop, as well as um, someone reminded me of dream interpretation. And I would like to offer that as a reading as well. So my experience is that I have a lot of experience with dreams. I've had premonitions. I've had um, people come to me for all sorts of questions about their dreams because I am a Pisces and I am kind of that dream gal. 
I do know a lot about dreams and I have decided to open up readings for dream interpretations, which is very important for your journey and for your twin and for healing and for guidance and tells you where they're at. So that is my second announcement there. Um, and my next live, make sure you're hitting notifications to my channel as well. All notifications on the app or on the YouTube in your settings or just hit the bell up there. Um, and make sure you're receiving those. I'm going to finish the Zodiac Twin Flame Signs update for um, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. So make sure you're hitting those notifications. So that is, in a nutshell, all of the announcements I have for you guys. I'm going to move my Mr. D's coffee. And I'm going to um, set up for you reading now for this karmic separation. What is going on? in this connection um you know what what is that energy there um why um why are they still with the karmic you know um what exactly is happening for you guys and also maybe what are lessons that your masculine is learning right now or going through and of course you will get your masculine desires at the end of the reading um per the usual so we'll ask spirit what is going on with you and your twins separation um and assuming that they have a karmic partner or some kind of karmic energy what is going on there and what can you expect in this connection for July? And of course, this is timeless, so can be July, August, can be a year from now. Many people have come to my readings from year a year ago, and they say how much it still resonates. So we'll find out what else is going on here. Divine Masculine, and look at that. The Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Not sleeping well, anxiety, trauma, um, <laughs> having bad dreams, nightmares, or just not able to sleep because they're thinking about so many things that are going on right now. So we are still getting, we are still getting um, a lot of conflict and tension um, with this five of wands. We are still seeing that your masculine is fighting off multiple forces here. I mean, obviously this could be trying love, this could be a third party, this could be a friend, family, um, competition, however this resonates for you. But your masculine is currently fighting off that karmic force. Um, and it's a lot of arguments, a lot of stress, and a lot of conflict for your masculine. Um, hence maybe why they're quiet, maybe why you haven't heard from them in a while. I feel like a lot is going on there that you may not know. Page of Swords, your masculine has, is um, mentally restless here. I, I always get this one, you know, they're just like pacing back and forth. It's hard to control their thoughts. They're having a lot of thoughts. Um, and also just determined to cut through, I guess, mentally, um, they don't want to be where they're at right now. They're having a hard time where they are in their current circumstances here. And the King of Pentacles, this is someone who is stable, seated, um, satisfied. We have a bull here, maybe Taurus energy, um, Earth energy. So I do feel that your masculine may be looking for more stability. They may be looking for... Um, settlement and establishment I feel like just trying to keep everything together um your masculine definitely wants to have um good stability and I feel like with all this conflict and arguments and with them having a hard time mentally here staying in one place that that isn't very stable for them and your masculine wants to reach that here we have the Page of Wands. This is a um, romantic 
tarot figure, one of the romantic tarot figures. And usually this is someone who wants to um, give a message, a romantic message to the person who obviously is asking here. So the masculine out of all of this is still thinking about you, is still considering um, meeting with you, talk, communicating with you, telling you how they feel, and giving you some kind of um, message from their heart. And look, we have the Six of Cups, nostalgia, memories, um, past life, love. So this is definitely um, that twin flame energy. This is definitely they're missing you a lot. They're thinking a lot about you in this period of time in through separation and with the karmic partner um, or friendship or whatever is blocking the connection. Your masculine is has nothing but thoughts about you, even though you wouldn't know it because they're not expressing it currently. Um, but again, here, this is past love returns as well. And then this one talking about how your masculine wants to communicate with you romantically with their heart. Um, and look, we have the Queen of Pentacles right next with the King of Pentacles. This is a very feminine um, card here, and this is talking about that warmth and comfort. And I feel like the masculine is truly missing that. They're missing um, the feminine energy and love and comfort that they felt with you before. Yeah, a lot of pentacles here. Nine of pentacles. So whatever is going on, guys, is going to pay off, okay? So um, even through this hardship, there is going to be a period of success, a period of um, victory in a way, but also this is talking about fruits of labor. So all the hard work the masculine is putting towards this connection is going to pay off, um, is going to... Um, definitely be worth waiting for yeah tied down so the eight of swords blocked this is someone that manipulation um so this karmic force is there um <laughs> yeah they're tied down seemingly right now blocked off from you in this connection um due to the karmic forces karmic ties um and they feel trapped um and unable to move quite yet but I can see I can see yeah and sense that that's going to break okay so the three of swords here um, with that piercing the heart definitely could be third party like I said this karmic energy is really strong this week um, and this is all about breakups severing ties um, grief and pain and sorrow so your masculine will definitely be going through a period of pain after separating themselves from this um karmic situation or um from the, the other person there will be a breakup there but that leads to happiness that leads to union with the ten of cups um so this is just the ultimate this is the rainbow this is the treasure at the end of the rainbow the wishes um, coming true or dreams coming true. Um, and so out of all this pain, out of everything, the lessons, everything that they've been going through, like I said, it's going to be worth it because there is going to be this happy ending here, that kind of vib vibration. And um, and that's, you know, we get an eight, nine, and a 10. So everything is literally lining up one after the other here. Um, this three of swords, Yes, there's going to be a severing breakup of karmic ties here out of this um, trapped, st uh, stuck feeling and um, being blocked from you and to come into union back home where they belong. And from here, I'm just going to be looking for three... Oh, look at that. Two of Cups, perfect harmony. And we have the eternal symbol here. So in the twin flame hidden message. So, um, 
yeah, you're looking at a reunion, you're looking at a reconciliation, coming into perfect harmony with self and with your masculine um, after a period of this separation and um, them dealing with the karmic tie. And look, we have the Page of Pentacles, romantic offer, ambition. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, so we saw the page of wands and now we're getting the page of pentacles again. So you're dealing with a romantic, um, someone coming to offer, I feel like a new beginning with you, with the fool here. So your masculine is looking to start fresh. They're looking to start over, looking for a new beginning to follow their heart, to um, lead to that true everlasting love to lead back to you um, with this Two of Cups in that perfect harmony and union. Um, so your masculine wants a new start, a new beginning with you, and they want to offer you um, a romantic relationship. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> where that goes. Love that. Um, we are already getting the Six of Wands here. Success, reward, stability. So again, that stability, um, success, just like we were talking about before. Um, that tre It's funny, I said treasure at the end of the rainbow. So this is definitely aligning um, greatly for you guys in this connection to lead back to one another. This is um, really amazing. <laughs> um, this one is actually the Page of Pentacles, and this is the um, third time, second time. We just had the Page of yeah, we just had the Page of Pentacles here, and now I know it says Page of Wands, but this is actually my Page of Pentacles, and I've had to reprint because of that. I just don't have the the new one. Um, but yes, the second time we're getting the Page of Pentacles, romantic offer, new embarkment, new life, new way. Yeah, so your masculine is looking for that new start. And look at this, you know, we have the King of Pentacles again, um, except in this way it is um, the message for love. It's talking about eternal love and true love. And we have these two rings to symbolize unity and union and here we have the lovers attraction intense love reconcile this divine union and the star <laughs> deep romance hope and healing and wish fulfillment so this is lining up pretty amazingly for you guys so i can definitely see and sense that karmic tie um being cut off and once that happens your masculine will be free to start a new life um to have this new embarkment and deep a chance for a deep romance here and to fulfill their wishes um, and to come into a divine union to reconcile this intense love with their feminine. That's pretty amazing. The lover, this is all like love, <laughs> romantic offer, new life, new embarkment deep romance, a wish fulfillment of this intense love, and to reconcile, come into union here, eternal true love. Yeah. A lasting, stable love, I might add, as well. So, wow. <laughs> um, I'm going to get my Archangel Power. This usually helps me when it comes to um, karmic energy. usually has a pretty good message. Um, what's going on with the masculine? Okay. Yeah, karmic times. What can we expect in this journey? Ten of Ariel. There is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and a promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So again, stability, longevity. Um, there is a promise of success for your masculine outside of that karmic tie. Um, and that's really important for them. 
in this journey is to have that stability, to have that um, stable family life. Ooh, a lot. These are harder to shuffle. They're huge. Did I know? magically the two of Raphael. This kind of reminds me of the two of cups. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. So, and we have like a little, looks like a health symbol back there with the little angel wings. But, um, so I see here, again, union. I see reconciliation. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. So manifesting something beautiful and wonderful for the universe and for each other. Don't give up on those you love. So be patient. This, um, this connection with you and your twin is unfolding. It is coming back together. You guys are coming back together for that stable life, for that um, success of the future um, and happiness. And here we have Page of Ariel, reliable, clever, educated, balanced, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or pursuit of education, time to get to work. So for the masculine, there is an opportunity opening up for success and finances seem to be a really big, um, a, kind of a, I guess a big deal for the masculine. Um, and ooh, there is going to be an opportunity for them to come into more stability so that they can be where they love to be, so that they can be happy with who they want to be happy with. And I feel like it's saying an, op an opportunity is offered to you, and I feel like it's talking for you as well, Feminine, that there are going to be opportunities opening up in this connection that bring you guys back together, and that definitely if you feel drawn to something, if you want to go and do something, then this um, is spirit is saying to pursue that desire, to pursue that and the opportunity can help bring you guys together as well. And let's get the energy of the connection. So look at that journey, new embarkment. Yeah, they are ready for a new beginning here. Okay, and the first one that pops out is a man holding a heart. So this card is talking about um, a masculine figure coming towards you with um, their heart, with desires, and with romance. So your masculine is definitely attracted to, interested in you still. We have man holding a, a coin, could be someone um, of value, someone a masculine who wants to support you and help you. Usually this is saying that this person is well, um, will be well off, they're stable, um, and can take care of you and support you. And then we have the thinking man. This is an incredible. We have three masculine cards here. And we have this crystal here to symbolize thinking not just in the mind, but in the spirit as well, growing intellectually and spiritually. And your masculine is really doing this here. Um, and it's helping them, I feel like, to appreciate you more. They're, le they're learning to appreciate you more your beauty, your presence, your energy, whereas before they were kind of, um, they weren't giving you that fair give and take here. They were taking more, they weren't appreciating you, weren't appreciating what you um, did for them or gave to them. But look at this, one, two, three, man holding heart, man holding a coin, the thinking man. So they're deep in thoughts about you and they wanna support you and be there for you and care for you and have a romantic relationship with you. We have adjacent possibilities. So yes, opportunities are opening up for your masculine. They have these doors that they can go through. Just takes them going through one of them, making a choice. Your masculine needs to make that choice. And we have second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Ariel's coming up like three times now. Um, and this is the solar plexus chakra, the creator chakra the one that symbolizes twin flames and where that energy source is coming from um, and for that. So your masculine is connecting 
to you, connecting to your energy, connecting to you in this connect, in this uh, connection, in this um, time period right now, um, opening up that chakra, activating them, and connecting at a higher level with you spiritually. Um, you probably have been feeling a lot of intense energy from them, and this because they're deep in thought about you. They're appreciating you more. No, you know, no longer want to miss those opportunities when they're given. And thank you to all of those who are coming in. You're much appreciated. Wow, look at that. Dream come true and fate written in the stars. Um, wish fulfillment, dream fulfillments here kind of like a miracle almost like you won't be expecting this at the next turn you're gonna run into this or um something big is gonna happen between you and your masculine here that is kind of written in the stars destined and fated for you guys to come together this dream come true and we have the ten of cups which also is a card of dreams coming true and it's just amazing to have these together that fate and dream come true so when all has ended, when all is kind of surrendered over and given up, it's going to just take you by surprise. You won't be expecting it. And then they come in. Um, this fate is aligning in destiny. Um, this dream comes true for you guys. So that's pretty incredible. Um, to see both of those together, I've never had that combination. Um, so it's very interesting and very beautiful. Let's get the energy. Yeah, we have at the bottom here stuck. So your masculine feels trapped and stuck. But um, honestly, it just takes them freeing themselves. They hold that key and can move on whenever they feel they're ready. Um, it's totally, you know, up to them. They hold that power in their hands and um, they don't have to be stuck anymore. And I think they're beginning to, to really realize this, to come home to their fate and destiny, this dream come true. Yeah, and your masculine is angry. They're saying F you to any karmic power karmic energy they're saying i'm going to cut you off they have deep regrets about how things ended with you they have deep regrets about the past and we have kundalini rising so that chakra is activating here um yeah they're growing they are starting to come forward they're starting to they're learning um they're understanding the past and they have regret for that we have intuition so spiritually they're growing a lot and they can feel you sense you and their energy um we have the kundalini activation and then we also saw the solar plexus chakra which is the source of all of these chakras for twin flames where you guys come together energetically so your masculine is feeling a lot of activation going on here they are tired of the karmic they are saying don't want this anymore where's my new life where can i make a new life you know um and so that's incredible yeah at the bottom here we have communication so the masculine definitely wants to communicate wants to come together coffee have a talk basically um to tell you how they feel and they're detaching themselves from the past they're detaching themselves from the current partner or from you know the karmic ties that they have they are feeling a little lost but you can never be found without first getting lost you got to get a little lost sometimes we have change of perception so your masculine out of this situation their perspective is perception is changing of you their perception of this connection is changing and of um their life and their whole world um they're 
changing that whole perception about this and it's helping them to see what they were blinded to before um, and they were masking their feelings from you so they're hiding how they felt because they um, thought that who they wanted where they wanted to be was you know what was supposed to happen and they're realizing and changing that perception of the whole situation and of you um, and I feel like they want to communicate all the feelings that they've been hiding from you from masking their feelings wearing a mask they want to reveal the truth to you let's get your twin flame separation what is Look at that, tied down. I am tied down by karmic forces. Please wait for me. So they're currently held up. They're currently tied down. They're saying to wait, please. The mirror, I'm facing all my shadows to be with you. So they're learning a lot right now. They're facing their inner shadows. They're working on their shadows right now. And look, there's that six of cups coming up. Memories, I can't stop thinking about you. Separation, I miss you so much right now. So they are missing you very much right now. That's so amazing. We get memories, can't stop thinking about you, miss you right now. Kashic Records, I'm connecting to all we were and will be. So they're connecting to their higher selves, that in divine intuition. The, that is, you know, they're being guided towards you, guided forward to you in this connection. Beauty, your inner beauty is beyond compare. So no one or nothing has compared to you since they have been away from you. Um, there is no comparison between you guys. And I want to get this. Um, I love how those cards can just perfectly <laughs> um, go through there. Look at that. Past life, karmic lessons, repeated patterns. So they just keep repeating these patterns over and over again until those karmic lessons are learned. And this is coming from the past life as well. But they're learning. Their perception is changing. They're starting to realize that they can free themselves. And all they have to do is walk through that door. Oh, wow. Concealing, pretend, confusion, frozen. So remember in the beginning of this reading, this is that karmic. I knew that that energy was there. Puzzled, unsettled, unclear. Your masculine is very confused. They're very hesitant to take those steps. Um, afraid to take those steps um, to come forward um, because they don't know what to do currently about this karmic situation. I mean, they know what to do intuitively but it's just about them no longer being fearful to take that step out. Pretend, mask is exaggeration and bluff. So they've been pretending, masking their feelings from you, concealing secrets, mystery and hiding. They've been hiding from you, stillness, silence, no words. There's been no communication. Things have been frozen with them. You have not heard from them um, in a while, but it's only because, I mean, they're pretending, they're putting on this big play for you hoping that you won't realize their feelings, their secret feelings from you, um, that they're secretly in love with you or that they've been hiding all of these feelings from you. They're just very confused right now um, and they haven't, you know, why they have, that's why they have not come forward to you yet. Let's get this pining thing. I'll just do it like this. lost wow confusion lost things are we had masculine feeling lost yeah so it's like they know what they you know what they have to do or what they want what they desire they know they truly want love and romance and passion and a new life new embarkment but they just don't know how yet they're still very lost and confused on the how right now 
addicted. Okay, so they may be trying to drown their feelings, drown their sorrows. They may be just trying to get away from the intensity of the connection or of what's going on karmically right now. So that's another issue. And look at that. I need time. Yes, the masculine is feeling lost and confused. They just need some more time. We had, please wait for me. Um, just blocked and tied down by the karmic forces. I'm trying to get out. Just please wait. And your intuition is on the right track with your twin, with your masculine. So however you're feeling about things, however you've been feeling, this has been right on track. Um, has definitely been what is going, what has been going on um, for you guys. So yeah, however you've been feeling about that, thinking about that, everything is on track here. I want to, let's get, all right, let's get your counterpart messages. here um let's get up. <laughs> I, I'm amazed at how perfect you are for me sometimes it feels as if it is not real I can't wait to feel you beside me on top of me and all around me again and I'm sorry I have hurt you so many times yeah so your masculine is feeling a lot of regret for the past feeling a lot of regret for how they treated you for everything that has gone on um, they're saying basically, I can't wait to be with you again. I can't wait till I get that second chance until that door opens so that I can take that opportunity. I'm still amazed at how perfect I know you are for me. It feels like it's not real. Um, maybe that's part of the reason why they ran, why they weren't sure, you know, however this went for you guys, but they cannot wait to be around you again. They want to feel your energy. They want to feel you again. They want to come back together to reconcile. Um, and they just can't wait for a new start with you, a new fresh start, new beginnings, a new embarkment with you, a new chapter. Um, they still, you know, feel, you know, they know how much they hurt you and feel very sorry for that. They just want to be with you again. Let's get the romance angels for this connection. we have let go of control issues so let go of that need to control the outcome your masculine is working on letting go of expectations um and the same for the feminine let go just let it go surrender let it be let it come when it comes and come together when it's supposed to separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so your masculine is going to go through a separation period with that karmic partner or with that tie this could be talking about separation you guys are currently in because we do have a reconciliation card here and passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so get ready for some passion feminine and reconciliation with your masculine someone from your past is returning to your life so that past love your masculine get ready to reconcile reunite for passion and love and romance um, saying get excited um, allow your heart to to sing with joy in this reconciliation and this passion that you're going to receive with your masculine. That time apart um, was necessary to bring you guys together in a more perfect harmony. And this again could mean separation from their partner currently, that they're going to take that separation and that your masculine is going to come and reunite with you. touch so your masculine definitely wants to be with you again they want to feel your touch and maybe if it's for the first time or to feel it again okay we have oh, wow uh, 
we have I can't stand leaving you. So your masculine can't stand being away from you, the separation. Um, they don't like being away from you. It just, it hurts them. It, it affects them more than anything else does. You are my twin flame. So your masculine has this sense, knows that you're part of their soul, knows that you are something more than anyone else is or ever will be. Um, you are their twin flame. The karmic, though, is blocking our connection. So this is, you know, that karmic reading. The karmic's blocking the connection, um, making it hard for them to leave, making it hard for them to come towards you. But they miss you. I miss your lips. If you guys ever did have that kiss, they're missing that physical. They're missing being away from you. Um, they're definitely missing that a lot. Uh, but the connection is being blocked through that karmic tie or karmic partner you are their twin flame that's amazing let's get the love compass and have faith things are coming through as they are meant to one card comes out here, let go of expectations, let go of control. A person you're meant to connect with may be different than you have been holding on to or you were expecting. Keep an open mind, detach from outcomes and expectation. This may pertain to releasing unhealthy or unrealistic expectations in a relationship. So this may have been part of the problem for you and your masculine that um, there were too many expectations in this relationship. They were unhealthy or unrealistic and it's part of the reason why you guys have the separation is so that they learn to let go of those expectations. They learn to make more healthy expectations of the relationship and detach from those outcomes. And we did have detach earlier as well. So that is good for this connection. won't be able to keep myself from reaching out much longer. So your masculine wants to communicate, wants to offer, make an offering to you, definitely wants to um, come together with you. Um, but again, the karmic is blocking the connection. They're having a hard time reaching out, but they're saying, hey, like this is definitely, I've reached my limit with this and it won't be long before I communicate with you. You inspire me to be the best version of myself. So your masculine is working on being better. They're working on um, all the things that, you know, went wrong in the connection before they are being the better version here. Songs are reminding me of you. So they're receiving a lot of signs, lyrics, music, um, things that are coming on. Um, they are reminded of you in this connection and they're always thinking about you in this way they're always reminded of you through the universe through the spirit through um you in this connection let's get the Ooh. we have one we have separation and closeness at the bottom here. If you're in separation nearby, you could have a serendipitous reunion with your DM soon. You can be out getting coffee at work or walking in your city or town and your twin appears suddenly. Be prepared for anything to happen. Wow, so if you guys are nearby but in this separation together, um, you are likely to run into them. Secret messages of your DM's heart. The thought of you with someone else terrorizes me. I want to reach out and tell you everything, but I respect you too much and want you to be happy. Never forget how much I want and love you. Don't doubt it. I feel the same way for you that you do for me. Even if we can't be together, I will always be fantasizing about thinking about you. Wow. So your masculine, no matter what happens, is saying, I'm always going to love you. I'm always going to be there for you. Um, they want you to know that. They're always going to be yours and um, they respect you, want you to be happy. Ooh. It just terrorizes them that they may have to let you go or that, that they did let you go <laughs> for that matter. What is the DMCF and Spirit Messages? That card flew over there. 
Kara says, I am sad right now. They're sad, they're lonely, they're lost, missing you, thinking about you. And then we have go deep within. Yes, so your masculine is going to go deep within to their higher self. Um, you know, diving into the intuition um, in this connection. So meditate, contemplate going deep within and they're feeling very sad right now let's get your tarot divine fortune all right so we have rebel yeah your masculine is ready to take a stand stand your ground rebel against the karmic forces um, and walk their own path. Gain. Oh, we have a lot of places here. Uh, gain. So they're looking to, and again, this is kind of like they're gaining that success. They're gaining that stability. Um, they're going to gain the fruits of the labor here. They're going to get that wish fulfillment. We have a few places. We have Spain, France, and we have, um, Greece as well. So this can be, Greece is um, kind of where the story begins of twin flames. So I feel like this is a very powerful twin flame um, couple. I keep getting this one with Greece. So it's almost like, you know, there's this group out there, this collective of twin flames that are meant um, and fated to come back together to gain and <laughs> to get this union. Um, I feel like that's why I keep getting Greece. It could be very well that there is a past life connection to all of these places for some of you out there. Um, you could currently live there or be from there or your twin is from there or has lived there before or has visited there. Something that kind of connects you guys together here. So however that resonates, just take it how it resonates for you guys. And we are going to get your masculine desires here. What is the masculine? Actually, I'm going to shuffle feeling for the feminine right now. have blocked off. I'm blocked by external forces and it angers me. Wow. So you remember, okay, <laughs> remember here what we had, anger, right? And here we have unblocked and we have blocked off. I mean, we've had this several times throughout the reading, blocked by external forces, karmic forces, um, and it angers them. They want to get out to be wild, wild desires. I want to be wild and free with you. So I mentioned freedom in the reading today. They want to be free waiting. I've been wanting and waiting to kiss you for years. So this, there's that kiss again. So they've really been thinking about that kiss. They've really been thinking about, um, about physically being with you, having those wild desires to be free and wild with you, but they're blocked off by karmic forces. The karmic is trying to um, block the connection here, but they've been waiting for you, waiting for years, waiting for that right moment, that perfect moment to be wild and free with you and to kiss you or to hold you or whatever, you know, may happen. Let's get angel card here for the connection. Oh, wow, look at that at the bottom. You are limitless, and we have two swans here that symbolizes twin flames. You can do anything you choose. The masculine is free to do anything they choose. They just have to take that. They just have to walk through that door of opportunity. The heart of the matter, there is more going on than meets the eye. So there is more going on for your masculine. There is more going on in this connection that you don't see, that they have not revealed to you, or that you don't know Um but they're limitless, they're free to make their choice, and I feel like they're getting closer and closer and closer to taking that step to walking through that door for you. 
the heart of the matter. So you haven't gotten to the heart of the matter. They haven't told you everything that's been going on. Um, and I feel like that truth will be revealed to you sometime in the future with them. And you'll know everything. You'll know why they, you know, weren't talking to you, why they ghosted you, why all these things were happening. Um, and you'll finally have that um, closure to have that new start, that new beginning. They're masking their feelings. They weren't telling you how they felt. But thing, everything will be revealed to you when it is the time. So thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate you all. You've been um, wonderful, beautiful souls. Thank you for donations and for coming to have personal readings with me and for getting the decks, those who have. Um, I do thank you so much and I hope you resonate with this message. Um, because this is a karmic reading, I'm going to be holding all comments for review, but if you do get past that review, you will be you will have um, that opportunity to um, have your comment on this video. So thank you so much, guys. Um, I hope you will be well out there. And I always love leaving it on this positive note. So thanks so much.